a week of high school football regular season. Where did it go, Lenise? I don't know. It went by so fast. Our game of the week is a mobile staple, however. The Battle of Old Shell Road, St. Paul's, and UMS Wright. Our Russell Colburn joins us live from Irvin S. Cooper Stadium, the home of the Bulldogs. Hey, Russell, this is a rivalry steeped in tradition. That's right. They've been playing this one for 35 years with neither team having the edge. You know, playoff matchups are obviously already set. So that's not on the line here. But as always, bragging rights are two teams enter, but only one can win the Battle of Old Shell Road. Three, one, two, three, seven. Seven. To hold off a UMS team ranked number one in the state in 4A, St. Paul's will look to its leaders on both sides of the ball. On offense, its first-year uh, starter, Miller Mosley at quarterback. The sophomore has the offense playing well. Of course, sometimes the best thing he can do is hand it off to running back Austin McPherson and enjoy the show. Goodbye. You've heard the name on defense. Senior linebacker Trey Williams, who will also play some tight end. He's a four-star recruit verbally committed to Auburn. Head coach Steve Mass says he needs these leaders to step up as nothing will come easily for them in the Battle of Old Shell Road. Sometimes we get caught up in that A battle, 4A, 5A type deal, and, and we sometimes assume that kind of thing. You know, they're a very good football team. There's, there's no reason they're ranked number one in Class 4A, and uh, I want to make sure they understand that just because they're a, quote, 4A, they're really, really good, and we better have our A game on. And Coach, right, uh, Coach uh, Mask is right, because despite the classification difference, this series is tied 17-17 all time. Now, coming up in the next hour of news, we'll go live into Bulldogs practice. But for now, live at UMS Wright, Russell Colburn, Fox 10 Sports. We will see you again soon, Russell. And we have the highlights from that game and more for you tonight on First and 10. Thomasville.